in the realm of the spirit when the Lord opened my eyes and took me spiritually to go and peep into the spiritual world to see exactly what is happening. And the Lord said, what was happening right there in Bono State? It's just a child's play to what will be happening. That in this case, it's not the people, but this is something happening right in army barracks, right in police uh, barracks, right in different places. I begin to see this thing in such a way that all the security of the country completely grounded. Mark my word, I am not here to exaggerate or to paint words or to say this one is my own, this one is not my own, this one is my enemy. No, I am ringing the bell of a prophet that whether the nation like it or not, they need to understand that the voice of God is speaking. If I can start by the grace of God since 2013, prophesying national issues and all of them, no one has failed. Because I know I am not the one prophesying, but God is speaking, making use of this mouth. This mouth is not worthy. I am not even worthy to be the one. But he chose it. He knows why he chose it. There are thousands and millions of people that are better than me. More educated or more frustrated or whatever. They have all the facilities to be better than me in hundred folds. I'm not worthy to stand with anybody to say, oh, I am this or that. But the creator of heaven has chose that it is me he will use for this very end time message and this message that pertain to this country and the people in this country. And God has been speaking and God has been giving us the message. God spoke from 2013. The ministry started. He has never spoken anything that failed. Last week, yes, last week, April 1st, I begin to tell you people to pray for our politicians. I see politicians dying. Only within a week, we have counted over five or four or thereabouts. What does that have to tell you? It has to tell you that the kingdom of God is with us. It has to let you know that God has found us, a kind of, have shown mercy to us, to speak to us before things begin to happen. The bombing you see happening now was orchestrated to happen before and during the time that Inam the Kano buried his parents. That was when the arrangement was made to start in the realm of the spirit. But somehow, somehow, the hand of God and something happened and it moved. Now, we don't want blood to be shared. What we want is the right thing to be done. Whatever is causing this, whatever is bringing this, let the people that are in position sit down and forget about pride, forget about position, forget about tribe, forget about how far you are gone, forget about what you stand to protect or your interests or whatever and call all the stakeholders please every stakeholder please sit down i'm speaking as a prophet i'm an a counselor by the grace of god i am a servant of god will he give you the word that needed because when i look at this thing that i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit it makes me cry care is not taken and prayer not properly done, and things not done. <laughs> this is not war. Mind you, I've said it's not war, but what I saw, I saw all the politicians, the governors, the people that are in stakeholding, and the people that are on the hem of affairs. I see all of them running, helter skelter, run to this place, no way, run to that place, no way, run to here, no way, find the other side, no way, jump through the window, no way. This became a massive and terrible crackdown in the realm of the spirit. Because I know that the realm of the spirit is what control the realm of the physical. And why is this message coming raw? It's coming raw for the right thing to be put in place. It's coming raw for the people to sit down and say, oh God, we don't tire. It's better we do this thing well. Let all of us sit down 
and look into this matter. <laughs> because this matter is not a matter that you say, Bam is awful. Or uh, there. Or help me tell her. It's not that type of matter. It's a matter that, oh, it not concern me, it not concern me. When it comes, it concerns everybody. Men of God, it is time to stand on your feet. All the men of God, if you are sitting down before, stand on your feet. Stop sitting down. If you are sleeping, wake up from your bed. Let everybody join mouth together. Why is this problem like this? What is the cause of all these things? When I talk about things happening, I am not talking about bombing. I did not see you. I went for a program in Oweri on Monday. I flew to Oweri Monday and I was passing through the road. Myself as a major prophet, the convoy that was carrying me or the vehicle that was carrying me got to the bus stop. Everybody had to come down and raise their hand up. I saw with my eyes. I don't know why it has to happen when I pass through the area. Something happened with my eyes. So I saw with my eyes. Everybody raise your hand. Cross the road. Go and enter the vehicle in the front. Is that how the security will be living? Is that what we will be facing? Is this what will be happening? Do we want this thing to duplicate all over the place? Before we sit down, do you want to make the place ungovernable? Do you want to make sure that oh, you yourself will not have any place to run to? This is a high call for the people that are in position, people that are in authority. Not a time of politics. This is not politics. Not a time of oh tribalism. It's not a time, oh, my brother, my sister, my neighbor, oh, I love this one, I don't love that one, I hate this person, I hate, I love the other people. This is not the time. The time we are in is a time of seriousness. I talk about this. I talk about this. And I made it clear, foreign interests. Ragadoshimbra <laughs> hasumbra Makranto shinka paradi arado, librando grossinta kaparo sura de bada, tokoski brahazi la koro fonte malaku prasita, e limbrando grossi sha takaparo sura batia, le bronto shinka la babaro su brahadi la bando, a ribiti la batara batas kom brahala jinda brakufe, le brogo do shinka la kapaso kaparadi la gross, le stende grossi takapara da limo sunda brahalizo, e linkrum potoshila brakata. I saw with my eyes what is happening in the realm of the spirit. Everything is finished because they step and they move. And what I see in the spiritual world, I don't know how my program collided with the time of this happening. Maybe God wanted my eyes to see what he has shown me spiritually. January. And also first week of February. God wanted me to see it physically. To confirm. So that I can get serious in passing this message to the right people that will hear it and do the right thing. If we are tired of being together, let all of us sit down and talk a way forward. We are all stakeholders. We cannot die. We cannot kill ourselves. We have to sit down. Man, what do you people want? What do you want? How do you want it? Let us now discuss it and get things done. A word is enough for a wise man. It is only the foolish man that will say it doesn't concern me when the flood is coming. A foolish man will say it doesn't concern me. The flood is not for me. And it's not about me. Or you say, oh, I'm a pastor, I'm a prophet, I'm a man of God. It doesn't concern me. It concerns you 100%. Because there will not be a place to say you are doing your pastor or you are doing your prophet or whatever you call yourself. It is high time the authority, the people, the right 
thing that must be put in place must be put in place now, not tomorrow. When I sounded the message of protests in the month of December 31st night, 2019, I said, watch in 2020 what is going to happen. I gave the prophecy. And everybody had it. People that were alive, they had it. And everybody that had it from thought, it was just talking. And with our eyes, we watched it and we saw it live. The month of the protest and the agitation and what happened was about a month of no, October. And they now say, go and tell the world, tell Nigeria, tell everybody that this is what is going to happen this month. And I said it, I say, this month of October is the month I saw in the realm of the spirit, I see a protest that will crack down the whole nation. I said, this protest is going to happen in all geopolitical zone. I said, it's going to happen from one state to another in all the geopolitical zone. It came to pass exactly that way. This is not Abuja protest or Lagos protest. It happened all over the nation. I said, this is something that looked exactly the same lockdown again. And I saw her bridge close. It came exactly that way. Nothing added and nothing subtracted. Now, the love of God is that God has sent his only begotten son and the son Jesus came and paid the price and have told us the truth and the way, the truth and the life. That anybody that is interested, you will be saved. If you are not interested, forget about it. But for the truth, it has been told. 